Hey guys, MasterCoX here, and I'm trying something a little different today. Now, this camera may seem a little unusual, but this is actually my vlogging camera, the Sony RX100 Mark III. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because that was what I used to record that episode 55 review of Dragon Ball Super in Vancouver. You know, the one with the not so good sound. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. What I am here to talk about today is something I've been asked quite a few times, and that is how to voice Goku. I want to tell you the story behind the voice and what good thing to do with a microphone right here. For those of you who actually want to know, um, do, don't mind the actual sound here, this is a Gibson microphone or their King B range of um, microphones and it's really good, it's really awesome and I absolutely adore it. It's a little pricey but you know if you want to get good equipment and you want to invest in it then this is a good pick, very underrated. So where did the voice come from? I just came up with a superhero because I heard Ian call Let's Goku going, my father? So. Back then, when I was less experienced, I just went like, Oh yeah, pretty much I did Goku like this. Some kind of like a hero, but something really high. Almost trying to channel my inner strong sad. I don't like food anymore. I do notice this quite a lot, especially with Naruto abridged. As you tend to start and you continue and you develop your voice a little more, it actually starts to get higher and you don't notice. But when you go back and notice it, you go, Oh boy, why was I that bad? Seriously, don't feel- yeah, that's just the way it is. It just shows that it's working. Whatever is working is working. What does the Goku voice consist of? Well, it's a little bit Ian Corvette. It's a little bit Kirby Morrow. It's a little bit of Masako Nozawa. And a lot of Peter Kalimus. Peter Kalimus is the second voice of Goku from the ocean dub in the, in the world of Canadia. Because at the moment, Goku sounds a lot like this, and his R's are really strong. And Peter Kalimus' ones is like, that tough guy doesn't know what he's talking about. But it actually helps if you have a lot of energy playing Goku, because playing Goku well is that you don't see this when you record, but when you play as Goku, smiling really helps, because doing Goku like this kind of really limits what you can do, and you don't really notice it, and this isn't me putting on for effect, it just doesn't sound as good when you have a smile on. I've seen people try and do Goku before, and they just can't quite nail it. It's just something off. They kind of just go like this, or, oh yeah, Chi Chi, that sounds like that. And that's not dissing people, I always appreciate people having a go. It's just, just that's the thing about voice acting. Just give it a go. Just go and give it a whirl, no one's gonna judge you, people will actually respect you for giving it a try. Because there are so many people that I've seen that hate public speaking. People that I talk to at conventions and just meeting in general, they say, Oh, I don't know how you can just talk in public like that. I just go, oh. well, people are just there to see me and I just have a go. Goku is a character that means a lot to me. And playing that lovable goof is just so funny. I can be really down the dumps that day but when I've got a recording session as Goku just recording that is just so much fun like you wouldn't believe how much fun it is I'll never get tired of it I will never get tired of voicing that lovable idiot just remember with Goku just high up smile really give it some gusto chutzpah beans mmm beans as for Gohan well Gohan's just literally just a higher Goku Gohan's kind of like just up here, just really forcing air out, and kind of like, you notice here, you can't see my Adam's apple, you have to kind of like push it back. Otherwise, otherwise it'll just sound like a really happy Goku. Also the mentality, Goku's an idiot, Gohan's smart. So Goku's always slurring and talking about stuff, and Gohan's always really eloquent and detailed about what he's going to say, you know, that cold chestnut. It's all about behavior. It's not just copying a voice, it's about thinking as that character. Gohan's smart, he's going to be analytical and think about stuff. Goku's just going to say what he thinks. And that's mostly about food, as you know. So tell me, if you like these little random voice actor fact things done in this position, just let me know in the comments and I will be glad to do more of these. He actually caught me at a good time, I was actually, my throat starting to go, so I didn't know whether I'd be able to do this video. So I recorded this uh, Monday. And uh, yeah, 
but oh well. Here's hoping that I don't lose my voice. <laughs> but anyway, until next time, guys, be sure to like and subscribe, and just check me out in the comments. Until next time, guys, catch you later.